Now, I want you guys to use hashtag Raiders to have your questions featured on the show. And then coming up in a little bit, I'm going to announce my winner for the Raiders vs. Lions ticket giveaway. So stay tuned on that. Use hashtag Raiders like my man Gunner9213 did. What's up with Carr's leg? So Carr got banged up in week four. Uh, he got hit in the shin from what it looked like. All reports are that he's okay. He's going to be fine. He'll be playing week five against the Bears. Caleb. I think. I need a drink. Uh, put it this way. If Carr was Bears quarterback, they'd go 13-3. and three. I mean, they went 12-4 and four last year. So, uh, I think you could put a quarterback on the Bears team. I mean, realistically, all you got to do is just not turn over the football and not be... I don't know, below average. And yeah, with that Bears team right now, they're 11-5, and 12-14. and 14. But that's a really tough division. Oh, this is a dope picture. Raider Invader. Hey, Mitch, why isn't Richard more involved? Can't they get him and Jacobs together? I think it's more of a matter of fact that it's just like Josh Jacobs looks better. And Josh Jacobs is the running back that defenses fear a lot more. Jalen Richard was used so much in the past because, well, let's face it, Marshawn Lynch went down last year after the third game. So all they really had was DeAndre Washington. Chris Warren was banged up. Jalen Richard, and they were checking the ball down a lot simply because they didn't have the receivers to really be able to stretch the field. I think Jalen Richard's a good pass-catching running back, but I want Josh Jacobs on the field way more than I want Jalen Richard. Let's go to Josh Paul. What's going on with Gabe Jackson? So it's a good question. So Gabe Jackson in the preseason went down with an MCL injury. They kind of gave him a six to eight week timetable. As soon as I saw the injury, I was like, Gabe Jackson's not coming back until week seven. If you don't believe me, you guys follow me on Twitter. You can go check it out. But now then there was reports in week four that he could come back a little bit sooner. From what it sounds like, he's going to miss week five, which I'm actually okay with because then he can rest up in week six and then come back week seven full strength. If you ask me, chances of Gabe Jackson coming back week seven against the Packers, I give it about 3.9 Chucky heads. Let's go to Pulse Livid. What's up, my dude? Why do you think Gruden didn't play JJ against Indy? I don't know if he's fully healthy. And also, the Raiders got off to such a fast start there. I mean, Trevor Davis took that touchdown, and the Raiders were up 14-0 rather quickly. And the Raiders controlled that football game the entire time. So if you have a player who you want to be able to have, let's say, for later on in the year, Plus, you have Dwayne Harris, who's already banged up. If you're controlling a game, why put a player who's not 100% healthy out there? So I think that's the biggest reason. Let's go to Don Quinlan. Why is Gruden still giving DeAndre Washington red zone touches ahead of Josh Jacobs? It's almost like you're inside my mind because I was watching the game, and I'm like, why is DeAndre Washington on the field? Why does Josh Jacobs get us all the way down the field? And then in the most critical time, we have DeAndre Washington. Yes, DeAndre Washington had a great preseason. I think he's played a lot better. I think he's a reason why, you know, the Raiders ended up keeping him. But let's get Josh Jacobs in the red zone. I mean, am I right? Let's go to Jermaine White Bull. More of a Red Bull fan, but it's okay. Can our offensive line keep Mac from Carr? Uh, sure. Right, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be really tough for Trent Brown, and it's gonna be a really tough also day for Colt Miller. But they did it against Von Miller. I mean, they Carr literally did not get touched against the Broncos, and the Broncos have a very good pass rush as well. Von Miller, Bradley Chubb. Now I think the Bears are a little bit different. I think they're a different animal, literally. But the fact keeping Mac off Carr, it's it's not easy. <laughs> you can you can do everything that you want. Scheme, it's just sometimes Khalil Max is a better player, and you guys know that. It's Burger. What's up, it's I just got the most provocative DM on Facebook from Ricky Vasquez. Oh my lord. I don't know how that's not blocked. Um, your opinion on the Raiders defense compared to the Bears. I mean, the Bears have one of the best defenses, if not the best defense in the entire NFL. The Raiders are still working their way up. The Raiders right now are very young. I'd probably say they're probably closer to like the 20 range of defenses below average. The Bears are the peak of defense, the best in the league. So get us to 20, oh my God. Get us to 30K subscribers. We're currently at 26,920. 
The numbers continue to grow, and I appreciate y'all. And I said once we get to 25K subscribers, I would do a ticket giveaway. It's coming up here in a little bit. Get us to 30K subscribers. I want to be able to give away a sick chain that I got. I want to be able to give away some more T-shirts. And then, oh, yeah, once we get to 30K subscribers, more ticket giveaways. Come on, hit that subscribe button. Let's go to Adam Ch Chamal. <sighs> Are the Raiders in talks with Brandon Marshall to bring him back? Are they in talks with Brandon Marshall? They might try to figure out where he's at health-wise, but from what I've heard, no, they aren't talking to Brandon Marshall. I wanted to make the video that I did earlier in the week, so maybe the Raiders would talk to him, because I think it, the Raiders just need depth. And if Vontez is out for the entire season, then yeah, maybe going out and find a player who used to be a linebacker for the team, who was a surprise cut, not such a bad idea. Let's go to Ryan Taylor. Will our secondary Hold up against the Bears. The Bears. I mean, I hope. Like, if our secondary gets burned by Chase Daniel, we got some big issues, right? I mean, we made Kirk Cousins look like he actually deserves to get $84 million guaranteed. What the defense needs to do is limit the running game. They need to take David Montgomery out of it. You got to really watch Tariq Cohen. Because Allen Robinson, he's never really been what he was in 2015 when he had that one year for 1,400 yards. So can our secondary hold up if we play the way that we did last week? Yeah, I think so. Let's go to Dame Dame. Should we expect Keelan Doss to get more touches against the Bears? I'm going to say no for the simple fact of he's like our fifth wide receiver. Trevor Davis looked really good. I would want to use that speed. If the Raiders want to beat the Bears, obviously you got to limit your turnovers, but they need to hit a home run play. And I think right now our best option to hit that home run play is with a player like Trevor Davis. So, hey, take a few shots down the field. Now, I wish I would have played Trevor Davis on Fandle because he had two carries for 74 yards and a touchdown, and that's how you win big on Fandle. And if you want to win big on Fandle, the only way you're going to start, I guess the only way you can do it is if you create an account. Vandal.com slash chat sports, and I want to play against the people who watch my show. So if you think that you're smarter than me, I already challenged a few people this past week. Go to Vandal.com slash chat sports, DM me, and then yeah, we'll uh, we'll go head to head. You gotta send me the you gotta send me the link though, okay? You gotta send me the challenge. Let's go to note. Oh man, not Engo 15. Get a picture. Is Arden Key in danger of being cut by the end of the season? I mean, every player, I think, to some retrospect, is in some sort of risk of being cut. But if Arden Key doesn't get things going, yeah, I mean, as good as Mason Mason Crosby, I combine their names, um, Benson Mayoa and Max Crosby have looked. <sighs> Plus, Morrow's been pretty consistent. I mean, Morrow and Crosby last week were our best defenders. P.J. Hall's out playing Mo Hurst. And then you got Corey there who finally got some snaps. I don't know if he'll be cut, but Arden Key really needs to turn it up because what have we been saying for two years about Key? He's got all the keys. He just can't get the car going. So, Arden, get it going. Let's go to Keith Babbitt. Can Darren Waller please get a touchdown? Throw it to him inside of 15. He's money. I love me some Darren Waller. He's probably right now, I'll say the best story in the NFL. Just from a player who had, he's going through a lot of life crap. And now he's got 33 catches on 37 targets, and he tied Antonio Gates for the most catches in NFL history through the first four games of a season. Like, that's awesome. But yeah, we got to get this man into the end zone. Now Tyrell's racking him up, should have five touchdowns. He dropped one this past week, but he's got four. Tyrell, Derek, can we get a touchdown to Darren Waller? Let me see some TDs. Show me those TDs in the comment section. After what the DM I just got on Facebook, I guess you can see why that's on my mind. Let's go to another question here on YouTube. Make sure you guys are using hashtag Raiders. Will we see Davis more in passing game or only on special teams? This is a super chat. So, Caleb, no? Okay. Uh, will we see Davis more in the passing game or only on special teams? So right now he's really filling in in that special teams role because Dwayne Harris is hurt, but he was on the field. I think the way that the Raiders used him this past week was great. Trevor Davis doesn't have the best hands, okay? Like he's he's kind of like that Ted Ginn. He's going to be able to stretch the field. You throw it to him, though, he might not catch it.
But if he's on the field, you have to respect the speed. And I think that's one smart thing that the Raiders did this past week. And if it worked last week against the Colts team, that's actually a pretty good team. Let's try to implement it again against the Bears. So this is the super chat that I was alluring to. Josh, you know, maybe invest some money and get in a picture. What about Kabinda? Should we bring him back? Joshua, do you subscribe? Yes or no? Turn on your notifications because I put out a video yesterday on five linebackers that the Raiders could potentially sign to replace Vontez Perfect. One of the names on that list, it was Jason Kabinda. So, yes, I think it makes sense. He's a middle linebacker overall, though. Appreciate the super chat. If you guys want to get on the show, there's a lot, a lot of comments flowing in here on YouTube and on Facebook. An easy way to do it is by clicking that super chat button. Let's go to Randall. Uh, why didn't they play our sack leader on Sunday? I'm not sure why Benson Mayo didn't get a lot of work. <laughs> Tom said something in the background. Uh, I think one of the reasons why he didn't play is because Max Crosby was playing really well. And again, I think they were kind of in control of that game. And they really want Benson in the game to be kind of like that NASCAR package where you're just going after the, the quarterback. And I don't have the reason, but yeah, Benson's been pretty productive this year. Let's go to Oscar. How do we slow down Khalil Mack? Oscar, if I could answer that question, I would probably make, I shouldn't say as much money as Khalil Mack, but I'd be making a million or two. That's for sure. He's the best defender, one of the best defenders in the league. I think actually Aaron Donald's the best defender in the league. How do you slow him down? You got to double team him. You got to get him off his game. But I think by really running the football with Josh Jacobs, that way he can't just pin his ears back, is the way that you slow down Khalil Mack. Let's go to Ernie Lopez on Facebook. Brother Mitch, is Trent Brown a go this week? I do believe that Trent Brown will be able to play. He's been battling a whole bunch of different injuries, knee, hamstring, uh, and then he hurt his fingers this past week. So, Brother Mitch, Brother Ernie, I appreciate you, my man. Appreciate the question. Flowing in on Facebook. And if you guys like the shirt that I'm wearing, you guys can also get a patch at www.RaiderNationStore.net. Okay? Flagging a patch for $19.99. It's a limited time only. The flag that I'm holding up, you can get a patch, and then you can also get the shirt. So, before I give my winner... Okay, before I give the winner, I said I was going to do a giveaway. So, I put some names in the hat here from the production team. Give me a sec. Also, if you like the hat, not a sponsor, but uh, only one nation. All good to you. So, give me a sec here. Let me pull the name. The winner of the ticket giveaway for Raiders vs. Lions is Kev underscore A underscore V. Congrats to Kev underscore A underscore V. So, Kev, you have 24 hours to contact me. You are the winner of the Raiders vs. Lions tickets. And if you didn't win, it's okay. I'm going to do more giveaways. We got to get to 30K subscribers, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. So, Kev, congratulations. Like I said, DM me on Instagram. Kev underscore A underscore V. You are the winner of the Raiders vs. Lions Week 9 ticket giveaway. But like I said, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I want to do more giveaways. And uh, Raider Nation Store, they're going to hook us up with some tickets. Kev, go give Raider Nation Store a follow on IG because they're the one that hooked us up with the tickets. Let's go to Inspiring Munoz. What up, my man? Will Hakeem Hicks play versus the Raiders? Let me see. At first, I'll be honest, I thought this said Hakeem Nix. And I was like, like the receiver, they used to play for the Giants. So let me see here what I got. It's very close. Hakeem, oh my god. It's actually, I typed in Hakeem Hicks and it auto-corrected me to Hakeem Hicks. So, I'll find out. I'll do a little bit more research. Obviously, I'm not very good at multitasking. So, let's go to Node and Go 15, get a picture. Who is playing better? Furl, Crosby, or Key? If I had to rank them, it would be Crosby, Furl, and then Key, because Key's not playing well at all. Furl, I don't remember what the stat is, but I've, out of Players who have had like 100 pass rushes, Cleveland Furl has got like a 6.5 success rate, which is like last in the NFL. It's something like that. So he's not been good. And he really hasn't. The player that I wanted them to draft, Josh Allen, is at, is at like 17.5%. Y'all yelled at me for not being, he's not. He's a 3-4 defender, but he's a very athletic player. And now that when I see all of our issues at linebacker, 
I'm really kind of wishing Josh Allen, I don't know, might have been the pick. Let's go to J Dog 209. J Dog, did you get a new picture? Looks like a new car. I need a new car. Will the Bears suck without the starting quarterback? I mean, I don't know. I would almost argue that they might be better, right? I mean, Mitchell Trubisky this year has not been great. 588 yards, three touchdowns, two picks. Excuse me as I burp. You guys can't see me. Chase Daniel, though, was actually pretty good against the Vikings. Like, 195 yards, a touchdown. He was efficient. He didn't turn the football over. And all you have to do when you have a defense like the Bears is not turn the football over. So, I think as long as Chase Daniel can do that, there might actually be better with Mitchell, without Mitchell Trubisky. But how's a good way to heckle a quarterback? Get some pressure on him. Make him beat you. And if the Raiders can get start out hot again, I'll tell you what. Go bet on the Raiders in this game because I don't think they're going to lose by five and a half. Let's go to Cosmic. Wait, Co Cosmic Slope Man. What Raiders player from the past could they use the most right now? That is such a good question. I was just going to say, I almost feel like I have to say Howie Long. I also have a Howie Long t shirt. If you guys want a Howie Long t shirt, go to Raider Nation store. Yeah, I'm probably going to go Howie Long. Great defender, and the Raiders definitely need a lot of defensive help. It's a good question. Let's go to Dakota Haddock. We should consider drafting a middle linebacker for our future within the first three rounds. The first three rounds, sure, but you don't have a third-round pick because you gave it away. You, they might have one. I'd have to look. You don't have a second-round pick, but you do have two first-rounders. But between you and me, I'm not really sold on taking a linebacker in the first round. And I know Paul Gunther in the past has said that he doesn't really believe in taking a linebacker in the first round. So if I'm the Raiders, I know we got to get a wide receiver. That's something we definitely need in the first round. Now, I appreciate everyone who's watched us. Appreciate you all. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do. YouTube.com slash Raiders support. We are the most watched, most interactive Raiders channel because of the nation. So before I go, I want you guys to type your city in the comments section. Because we are spread far and wide. And get us to 30k subscribers so I can do more giveaways. Hit that big red button and subscribe to YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching and go Raiders.